Hey, welcome to the video. Today we'll be taking over the naval base. A beginner's guide to how to set up here. Where all this loot is. So much loot. Best place to be. Look at that sunset. Isn't she beautiful? So we'll be setting up around here. In particular, we'll be setting up in this shed here. I'll show you how to get here, what skills to set, put a bed in there, get some crates for yourself, your crap kits, guns and ammo, how to get three locks on the door to protect your little shed. Why the shed here, you might ask? I'll show you why, because of that mech there. And if I just turn around here, that mech there. So with 0.4 and the patches before, they've changed the way the mechs move and where they go, so they cover this shed a fair bit more. I don't know why they keep changing it, but they do. I'll also show you how to have so much ammo by the end of this that you'll just be killing mechs for fun. You'll stack that much loot. You'll just be taking them out. So loot is not going to be a worry. Even boop them on the nose if you want to. So all of this is going to be done on Noobland, which at the time was 87 out of 90, a full server. They have a bot and free loot, but we'll be saying, fuck the free loot. We'll be doing it the hard way, the official way, the looting way, not the cheats way. So as I just said before, we did all this on Noobland. At the time of me doing this video, it was 87 out of 90, a full server. The reason I did it on a full server is I just wanted you to see that you could do this anywhere if you could do it on a free server. So I set my intelligence to 100, uh, to maximum, my rifles to full, my stealth to full. You're going to need that around the max. Some slight demolition for mines. We want engineering to be full because you're going to need to craft locks. Survival, camouflage and awareness all get a little bit there. Uh, and a little bit of sniping, so you can level up that sniping and stuff like that through events. And you're running an endurance, you want about the same. But the key thing here is engineering to full, because you're going to be crafting locks. And the way the game is now, fame points don't buy you locks anymore, you have to do it through engineering. So find out what your sector spawn is for the server that you're on. I just asked in world chat here for noob land. It's 50 for official. So just remember that Davo here tells me it's 15 for new land. So we need 15 fame points if we want to do a sector spawn, which is the easiest way to get to where you want. So find two rocks, craft a stone knife. With your stone knife, chop down a bush. Uh, chop one of those low, one of those sticks into small sticks, and you'll see your fame points just go up while you do all this. From there, find a couple of stones, make a small axe head. So this is just the beginner basics, but this is a beginning basics video. From there, craft some rope with the sticks that are on the floor. And uh, make yourself an axe. So I sped that up so we don't have to waste time. But with that axe, chop down a tree. So everybody should know this, but if you don't, then you're a proper beginner and you need this video. Uh, from there, chop the logs into planks. So you can watch my fame points go up as I'm doing that. I'm at 12, 14 now, 16. So once you've got all your planks on the floor, you chop them into, you craft them into uh, wooden bats and just watch your fame points go up. So if you're on an official server and you needed 50, you'd do it to 50 fame points. I've got 25 here, I only needed 15. That's enough to fucking kill myself. So commit suicide. Bada bing, bada boom. You can now pick where you want to spawn sector wise. Save you running for fucking three hours in the bloody running simulator. So we've spawned now in A4 and we want to head south to that red circle where the red dot. So we'll get our jog on down there. We said fuck you to the free loot. That's a starter kit right there. But I don't want it. I want to show you how to do it the hard way. There's no point showing you the easy way which is uh, bots and starter kits and whatnot. This is a true beginner's guide, we're gonna do it by looting. So there's someone's big base. If I look at it again just there. It's definitely an active server with people around. And here we are, the naval base. The naval base is definitely the biggest military area, has the best loot. 
uh, it's the best place to go, in my opinion. The most people go there to loot. Probably not the most for PvP, but once you get good at it, you'll be able to wipe them out. So head for these admin buildings. We're not going for guns first. In particular, we're not going into the little military areas. We're going more to these sheds and, and areas with all the bits in them. So that's the mech next to me. I think there's one of like nine or ten here. You need to tiptoe around those mechs and that's why your stealth is high. So get your loot on. Got myself a gun there. But this is what we want to find, is these padlocks. So you need these padlocks to craft locks for your doors to be able to lock down a building. And your engineering skill full is why we did that. So we're just going to make our way through all of these administrative areas. Uh, so you can hear player shots there. And mech shots now. It's definitely an active area. Don't freak out when there's people around. Just don't get seen at this point. Eat your food, get a banana into you. Keep your metabolism going. Just keep focusing on your game. So keep stacking those uh, locks. And uh, yeah, I had too many to carry here, so I put this one in my hand. All of this is just generic gameplay that I did just to try to start off nicely. And I just thought I'd record it and show you how to do it for all your beginners. So my hands are full now, so the rest of these locks that I find, I drop onto the floor. And the reason I drop them onto the floor, it just makes it easier to find them later. So luckily in this crate, I found some sexy jean short pants. That's enough to carry a uh, few more locks. So there's the five I need. So I've got five to craft a bronze lock now. So what we need now is a toolbox. There's more locks. So keep on looting until you get that toolbox. Just so you can see in those lockers, desks, crates, that's where all the locks are. In these buildings here, down on the dock, that's where you need to go. Got myself a night vision out of that. You've got to creep around those mechs, so just look how I'm creeping there. You're going to have to do the same. Because the moment a mech spots you, it's either going to kill you, or it's going to tell another player that you're near, and they're going to come and kill you. Make sure you hydrate, eat food, drink water. And with your high stealth, just tiptoe around those mechs. And some ammo here, so now I've got ammo in my shoddy. I can defend myself if I need to. Keep creeping. No shame in creeping around those mechs. Do whatever you gotta do. So here's our toolbox. This is what we wanted, so you need the toolbox to craft the locks with the padlocks that we've got. So there we go, five padlocks, a bronze one's on the side, so we'll craft that up. And that's our first lock that we can use to lock a door. So it wouldn't let me put it in my pocket, so I'll put it in my hand, carry it in your hand. So to get around the naval base, climb up doors like this, get real crafty to get around those mechs and just not get spotted. You're gonna have to be patient and wait like this until the mechs move. Really don't wanna get seen, especially right now where we, we don't have the armor and stuff to protect ourselves. It's the first time we approach the shed that we want to take. You can creep on behind those mechs with your high stealth, just don't get spotted. And this is home. Put that bronze lock on. So now the door's locked, so you can put some crates in there and uh, people can't just walk in. They couldn't pick it pretty easy, but they don't know you're there yet. Plus you've got those mechs walking around on the outside. It's not really a desirable shed to loot. Not many people would bother to look in there for loot. So keep hiding from the mechs. 
and craft an axe if you need one but we found one here chop down a tree and take that log back you can move multiple logs at once but I found it easier just to run back with one it wasn't very far chop that wood into planks put down a blueprint for a wood crate grab another log chop that one up put the planks into the blueprint chop down a bush so from bushes you get sticks chop the big sticks into small sticks Might have to do that to a few bushes, but then craft rope out of the small sticks that you cut up. So once you've got four ropes, you're good to go. Just walk on behind that guy. He ain't shit. Got spotted by one there. Put the rope into your blueprint. I don't want your cookies. And there's your crate. So now we've got a locked door, we've got a crate. You can put all your nice little goodies in. Next you want to craft a bed. You're going to need that bed because you're going to die. That's a fact. Plus if there's bad guys out there you can spawn back in if you died. Grab some guns which you're about to get. And come out after them. So chop down another bush. Bundle up some sticks. Make some rope like you just learnt before and put them into your bed, so boom, there's your bed. So here is why you're going to need a bed. Because you're going to fucking die, it's a fact. And luckily for me, because my bed was there, I could spawn straight back in on it again. Build another two crates, the same way as I just showed you the first one. And then you've got a nice bed, three crates. So next we're going to want to put gold locks on the door just to stop people from picking your base while you're asleep or not online. Grab yourself a toolbox and just get out there. Eat those bananas! Eat the food as you come across it. And just grab all these locks. Get crafty, get zooming around in there. Jumping over fences, anything to just stay out of the vision of the mechs. Keep grabbing those locks. More, uh, more parkour. So once you've got 15 locks, you'll be good to go. See, they're in the boxes, the crates, uh, filing cabinets. They're the places you want to go, not the military areas. Don't die to the mech. I'm not going to show you my exoskeleton. So we got 15 locks, so we can craft a gold one now with that uh, high engineering that I had you set in the beginning. And there it is, so our first gold lock. So if you can make one, you can make three, so just in your time there, head back out and uh, keep getting locks in between your looting and soon you'll have three gold locks on your door like that. That's the, the best defense you've got against being picked as well as having those mechs there watching your doors. So it's time to loot. So when you loot, I always loot naked. The reason I loot naked like that, except for my sexy jean shorts, is uh, it's easier to bring stuff back and get shirts, helmets, vests, everything you need. You can wear it on you. Did you see there, I got a vest. So you just keep heading out naked, get everything you need, and then head on back and depot. And you can depot back in everything you've found. You can just carry more when you're naked. Keep hiding from the mechs. Make sure you take your time. And load yourself up. Got myself a helmet there. Load yourself up on everything you need. Guns, ammo, kits, food, bandages. And then head back to your little base, which is nicely secured, and stack it all up. I 
put three crates there so I can divvy it up nicely, so I can just know what I've got. So after one run, that's the guns and ammo I've got. Looking pretty good. So go out looting again, head back out naked. And if you head out naked, you'll come back fat and heavy like this. Stack it all up, just keep loot cycling, loot cycling. I think it's 20 minutes and 200 meters away you need to be for the loot to respawn. And that's what it'll look like after a few runs. Pretty bloody geared, looking pretty good. So I found a few mines, you could craft them with the demolition skill that I had just set. But with that demolition skill you can arm traps like this at the corners of your face. What that is going to do is when people try to pick your door, when the mechs come they're going to try to hide behind your shed and if they do they're going to they're going to hit those mines. So put more mines around everywhere, everywhere around your base they won't blow you up. Now you've got your nice base, you've got so much ammo, you've got all that loot. What more can I do with it? So I thought I'll take down a few mechs for you. If you were going to play on in the server, which I'm not going to do, you just keep stacking loot and then from there end up exploring out of there. But you're going to have that much loot from the naval base that taking the mechs down isn't going to be a problem. So yeah, the remainder of this video is basically five minutes of me killing two mechs. So feel free to watch on and watch the whole thing if you wish to. It's a bit tricky there for a while and they try to double team me but two easy mech kills. So yeah, I'll probably leave you with it from there. Thanks for watching the video. Hit subscribe if you made it this far. I'd appreciate it if you would. Uh, enjoy making these videos that making and no one's gonna watch them. So hit subscribe, hit like, let me know if you liked it. Something in the comments. Enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you for watching. See you later.